Hello and welcome to the Gage Luke and we're back with the war. Okay, let's just get straight into this. This is definitely a no-nonsense campaign. We've been fighting um, quite a lot of people here, actually. We're fighting pretty much all of our neighbours, but I don't feel like we're any under any real threat. Uh, we do have a war army, and it's going to Karag Dromar. Old uh, Grimgor took a bit of a hit in his last battle, so we'll let him kind of get a little bit tougher here for a wee while. But let's upgrade that. And then we will go after Vlad the man himself. Did I lose my other army by any chance? Now, sorry if there's a, a fair bit of background noise. My my fan is going overgrown here. It's extremely warm here, as it probably is for many of you. But uh, I'm hoping it'll start cooling down so the fan won't have to go into overdrive anymore. Um, okay, so I don't want to, to hurt anything to do with Warzag, because I want Warzag. But I do need to do form an action against the settlement and carry out a successful attack. Atta assassination attempt is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so you are... I think the idea to you is that we're going to make you a gobble army almost entirely. We don't have an awful lot of money here. Okay, mash. I'm wondering if we should do anything with you. Should we maybe get a couple of better units? Could maybe do with some armor piercing units for you. Some crappy cavalry. It's the best armor piercing we've got. Probably broken tooth armor, boys. The boys are yeah, let's get a couple of them. Okay, let's get straight into the end turn. Hopefully our war army will take that out. I can't imagine it not, unless I'm missing something. Oh, I'd love to have that gobble army under my direct control. So we definitely, definitely want to... I thought that might happen. Grom the punch. It's gonna need niblet by his side soon. We gonna shake hands, then. Not. Oh shit. I don't think they're as close actually. Get confused with my dwarf campaign. That's all Crooked Moon and Karagazul there. We're gonna need Azhag the Slaughterer. Uh, I'll resolve it. Oh, we won. Didn't expect that. Now then, boys. Absolutely. So we're at war with almost everybody bar other green skin factions with the exception of bloody spears. That makes sense though. We know the role play of this. We're out to prove a bloody point. And we certainly are. Now if I attack that you will almost definitely come after me, but you've got a crap army, so let's auto resolve. I only lost 51, and let's loot and occupy. We got the eight peak loonies. It's always nice. And you're getting better, my friend. And Jesus, you are getting strong. Um, what do we want, Ard lads? Um, well, let's go for the wrecking ball. The Kraz. Yeah, exactly. Okay, you, you go there. Raiding camp. And hopefully there's a wee dude for us there. I am nervous about everything down here, I'll be honest. Okay, can you... Oh, what did I just do that for? No, 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 no. What the hell am I doing? All right, then. I'll do it. Get in there. Let's make squid corn still exists. Karagdron is reasonable. You should take that. I'll 
okay, what do we want? Faster wolves, boar breeding, night goblin squake hunters. No, I don't think so. Leadership is better. Let's just do obedience and growth. In fact, let's just check out. I'm death rough. I is already heard your words, but speak. Me? Nah, then. Why can we? God, talk. Okay, oh, military lines for you, Rock. We will try and send Gorbad down here to try and take out some more. He does have access to a few um, cheeky little units as well. Do we want any of these units? I don't know, I see that more for you. My goblin army, but we're not quite there yet. I presume my Wa moves right at the end. Oh no, he did move already. Oh. I actually didn't expect him to attack. Can't take Vlad too lightly, but his army's mainly zombies, so I'm not too concerned, generally. Have we already killed Vlad before? I can't actually remember. We really, really want to kill Isabella for that regeneration. We, we might even release... Vlad von Karsten's faction again just so we can kill Isabella. Imagine Grimgor with regeneration. Oh. We have to save the world from the stinky chaos. Wow. You're favoured in this? I mean, I've got some weaker units here, but I can't imagine why you'd be favoured. Well, we're fighting this. I'd fancy Grimgor over Vlad in direct combat. It's just that Vlad's got all his magic. Even with Vlad's rings and stuff, Grimgor just does so much damage that I can't see it go any other way. But we'll see. We're going to make mincemeat of their units, though. I mean, those black orcs could probably take on most of their army. Um, right, obviously, we actually do have range superior, of course. Um... I don't have much in the way of anti-large though, and they do have some cavalry, in fact I don't think I've got any anti-large. You go to control free, you stay here, you guys are pretty decent. We've got the nasty skulkers over there, we'll get the, the squigs here. God, we got some really crazy little units. We got big fat Grimgor here. Obviously, we'll call him that to his face. Not much of a plan here. I presume I'm faster than their cavalry. I should have sent you further forward. Am I faster than them? I am, ever so slightly. So let's go attack their bar guys. I definitely need some more orc units in this army. I'm relying quite heavily on gobbles. Which is not good. Not good at all. 700 weapon damage. I don't even have my weapon thing yet. Get snick. I'll piss off. Use that all you want. No, what are you using anyway? Oh, it's... Well, let's move you back because you're slower. You keep firing. Where's our range here? Okay, so you're soon going to be in range. We need to try and get them to come down centrally, actually. Oh, you major little bastards. No, 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 no. Come on. Keep firing. Come on, suicide bombers. You might do something to them. Yeah, you did. Let's 
Let's get you over here. I would imagine. I'll cast it again, a little bastard. Everyone can just fire on them. Go on, everybody. Poison, you name it, everything. Those guys are going to be out of the picture very soon. Why not? Yep, they're done. Oh, Christ. Actually, they are bloody anti-large, aren't they? I wouldn't mind if they charged my... Artillery, to be honest. I'll get over that. Can you guys fire so you can slow them down? Okay, let's get right into the back of them. Oh, shit. Black Orcs should probably make quite quick work of you. Okay, fire in. Fire in. Let's bring you further back. This is actually quite a difficult battle. I wasn't expecting it to be so challenging. Okay, you get in there. In fact, no, keep, keep fighting. Where's Grimgore? Okay, you must be done now, right? Yeah, there we go. Just get after them now. Come on, Black Orcs. Make absolute short mess of these lot. Okay, you stay there. No point in you doing that anymore. Sacrifice anyone you want, I don't care. Okay, you guys are going pretty well. Squig Hoppers, go over there. Let's get you over here. We need to make sure Grimgore is okay where he is. I believe he is. Let's just charge them. Oh, what a beautiful little fight this is turning out to be. Black Orcs just stay in there. Go on, Squake Hoppers. Yeah, I think it's about time you stop firing. I think you'll be alright in here, to be honest. You're getting chased around, but I don't think that'll be too problematic. You stay in there with the skeleton archers. You uh, charge right into the back of those skeleton spearmen. Grimgore, you are fighting a hero and Vlad here. It's not the best idea you've ever had. We will take you out, old lad. Let's get some help in there for you. You're actually doing alright, to be honest. After these vamps. Oh, you little bastards. Just charge. It's fine. I'm not nervous about them at all. How are you getting on in here? Yeah, Vlad's, Vlad's hurting. You get after Vladdy, Vladdy Daddy. Okay, need you guys over here. You kill Vlad, please. Him go. be all right in there. You guys have been beastly though, so thank you. There he goes. He's done. Okay. Let's get after this lot though. I think they're crumbling actually, aren't they? They are. It's not going to matter. You all did very well.
Right in there with Grimgore. We are saying your name, Sad, don't you worry. You cook Vladdy Daddy and Vampire. It's pretty impressive. Heroic victory. That's what we like to see. I need to get rid of these little guys. Get some anti large units in there. I'd like a giant or a troll soon. I don't know how close I am, I can't remember. Hopefully quite close. We need Isabella though, we need regeneration. Let's eat them, I need to replenish some units. Okay, and did I get, I think I've already got the, oh no, wound recovery time. That's pretty impressive actually. Um, okay, let's make our weapon strength even better, and yeah, let's do wah as well. Wah! She never say it just like, wah. Okay, let's get rid of one of these nasty skulkers. Okay, so I don't really have any proper anti-large. Oh, I suppose the Iron Claw. Yeah, let's go for two Iron Claw orcs. Then. You should take Karag Dromar. You guys are fine. You're relatively okay. Can we recruit any more units for you here? Maybe we should get you a couple of moon howlers. Let's get you a moon howler. Black Karag. Uh, no, we're probably waiting for you, but let's upgrade that. Any more money? Oh, yeah, we're gonna need timber. Does Isabella still exist then? She probably does. Cause they're all up here. Oh Christ, there's quite a lot of bloody spears coming here. Who stand? And we need you to be a little bit tougher. Let's get a couple of arrow boys. I don't think I've ever seen the bloody spears do well before. Okay, there's Karag Dromar for us. Ah shit, I forgot about my green skin hero. Now, I would peace out with Laddie Daddy, actually, for just now. I would like to demand payment. No, that's fine. Grimgore's going to need to go deal with the bloody spears. And it means we can uh, come back for Isabella later. So, wound recovery time, minus four. Don't you only get, like, wounded legendary lords? It's not five turns, so it's like, basically, he dies, and next turn you can get him back. Pretty impressive. Certainly not going to complain at that. So we're also at war with these dwarfs. So we'll send that wah there. I think it's too far to go for the bloody spears here. Unless I'm mistaken. Of course, there is some bad Skaven rat men coming for us as well. We'll deal with that okay though. Uh, it's too far away. Okay, so the war army. Go after that. Oh, you're going to come for me there, aren't you? Well, we'll just have to take that. Wait, you guys. I need you to assassinate. Oh, man, no. I want you to assassinate. Shit. Any other green skin forces here? This Top nuts. Okay. Can we take Karagazu Loki? Oh, we may have to fight that one. It's quite a difficult battle, actually. Okay, let's fight this one quickly. Only 20 minutes in, we're getting some good battles, 
Getting some good growth. Not very sustained growth, but we are a wah. We're not looking for sustained growth. Gorbad is fast becoming a very good army for me. I've read out the lore of Gorbad before, but I heavily suggest looking into it if anybody missed that. You are the green tide. Okay, go bad. Hopefully nothing too crazy goes on here. So let's take out your towers. As quick as possible. Hopefully got enough ammunition for that, I would imagine so. It'll take 20 shots, but it looks it. We'll also try and take down one of the gates. They do have quite a lot of firepower with these Dwarf Scouts and Thunderers. To be honest, the Dwarf Scouts in particular are quite challenging. Okay. Almost there. Nice. Okay, take out the gate. Right, we will start moving our forces a little bit forward. That's kind of the limit there. So if we can get you here. Probably not use our cavalry too much in this battle, I imagine. But Stay back a little bit. Gorbad, if you can come forward. You get hit a little bit. I have to be a little bit careful here. Sometimes can be a wee bit naive. Yeah, Gorbad will be fine, I'm sure. So I think what we'll do is we'll actually go and charge our spearmen here. They don't mean an awful lot to us. You probably got the... Yeah, long beards there. So we can get you firing on the Dwarf Scouts. You fire on whoever you want as well. So we'll use these as an almost meat shield type unit. Indeed, we will start moving you forward now. No, not you. I want you to fire on the Thunderers. Yeah, I was hoping that would happen. You can try and get some form of um, superiority and range firepower here. Go, lads. I think we can make pretty short work of these with four lots. Yeah. Nice. They are focusing on our meat shield type units. I don't want to charge straight into Longbeard on my own, so I'm going to wait just a little while. Chaps, you get straight in there, but we'll get you lads up there, you lads up there. And indeed, they have started being a bit silly, which is perfect for me. We're hoping you come in, Oath Keeper. You're no joke, though. Should make fairly short work of their long beards. And we'll see. Okay, let's get you in there. Come on, lads. And let's see, just if we can, do anything about you. Just 
keep fire in here. And indeed, let us get you over here as well. You are the green tide. And you're doing well. Some good hits here as well, lads. Come on. Yeah, we're doing well here. Come on, Gorbad. Get some good hits in. I think our cavalry will get through there. We're not filth. We just don't wash much. How dare you? Boys, do some work here. Okay, I should make hopefully short work of that gate. Not bad. Yeah, he's about to die. Good lad. You can get through Gorbad. Get a nice rear charge into them. After him, come on, kill the oath keeper. Okay, you should be dead pretty quickly. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Pretty well on the wall. Okay, get through. And indeed, you guys need to get through. Come on, lads, get in. Are they heavy mass long beard bastards out there? That makes me nervous, to be honest. Okay, focus on these thunderers. You guys focus fire on them. Hope they're being stupid, which they do appear to be. Nice. God bad, you're doing alright. Let's just use your health anyway. You're about to be done here as well, which is very good. Yeah, these guys have just stopped, so we're annihilating them. Enemy gates destroyed. Come on, lads. Let's get you down here. Longbeards are no joke, though. You can see why I'm fighting this. Sure. Come on, moon howlers. Idiots. One dwarf scout left. Okay, if you guys can come down. In fact, no. You get into the back of these dwarf scouts. Okay, fire into them, lads. Get the moon howlers across, I think. We are going to take your holds and your lands, yes. That is entirely the plan, I'll be honest. Good, good shots here. Okay, moon Howlers, get into the back of them, please. Very good melee attack on you. You may as well just get up here. Bloody long beards. Close to unbreakable. Guys are going down now. There we go. Spear boys did okay, you know. Okay, we're gonna get you guys back around here. No, go that way. Okay. I think long beards. Get after them, please. You get after them. Gorbad, however, let's get you up here. 
Okay, come on, lads. Come on, lads. More long beards. So many goddamn long beards. Come on, wolf riders. Come on, get up there. Goddamn long beards. Come on, green skins. Get through them. Jesus. They're not giving up, are they? Get you over here. Yeah, good, they're charging in now. We'll ignore those dwarf skulls. Okay, perfect. Moon Howlers. You charge. You charge. And you charge. Come on. It should be pretty well timed with the Broken Tooth Farmer boys. Won't be a huge charge this. It's always nice to see. Just, just get in there now. It's not going to be quite the same. You guys are holding out. Not for too long, though. Come, Snorri, get in there. What is going on in here? Are you just not hurting them? I will not rest until my axe is blunt. How are these long beards doing? Spear boys are gone. I'll deal with that though. Green howlers, get in there please. Poison these little bastards if you can. Come on. Are you getting to fire on them? Fire. Go and take the city. I don't know if that's taken it. Okay, you guys are done now. So are you. Thank God. God, bloody divorce, man. They hold out so well in these situations. Perfect. Well done, Godbad. Gorbat has understood that he is no challenge to Grimgor, but he also understands that he is the mightiest. The mightiest of units available. Okay. So we're getting close to the end of our episode here. Let's take that. Karak Azul. We will actually upgrade that if we can. Gorbad has done pretty well. Let's keep getting you tougher, I think, my friend. You just keep playing around there. We are indeed at war with Barak Var, so we'll take them out. It'll be the next episode now. You guys are moving there. We have some problems here. Some fairly hefty armies coming towards me. I don't have a lot of defence. Black Crag is safe, I think. Unless something extreme happens. Mate. Okay. So that is us. Oh, shit. Skaven slaves. Okay, guys. That is it for the war. We are surrounded by puny enemies, but we will prosper. I am fairly confident on that. Anyway, do remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.